Hey fellow pilots, this is the run cam thumb on uh, Mobula 6. I just put a little bit of Velcro on there and yeah, this works out pretty good. It's pretty solid. All right, here we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, pretty good control. Uh, you just have to have the the camera right in the center of gravity and uh, it can get pretty zippy. You can uh, fly around, it's pretty cool. You can get very precise movements here. Not bad, right? Not bad. Alright, let's check out the basement. Oh, there's my wife. There's my office. And get some precise movements here. Check out my Nerf wall. Oh. I'm gonna hang out in the salon here. We got a home business. And I think I heard the battery alarm, so I'm gonna come back. You're gonna notice quite a bit of um, reduction in flight time but that's expected, right, for something like this. Anyways, all right, let's come back for a landing. Oh, yeah, check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty good, right? Yeah, the key is to keep that center of gravity on the, the aircraft and you should be flying. Yep, it's a $50 uh, action camera. This is not bad at all, right? All right, take care everybody. One thing I did wanna go over is where to wire up the run cam for um, the flight controller that you have. Uh, so they suggest you put it in the ground and five volts in the Mobula 7, uh, I plugged it in. Um, I soldered the, um, the black wire to here and the red wire to the five volts. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. You just have to get a pretty, pretty pr precise with the um, soldering. So just be careful there not to have any um shortages so that's it oh one more thing um the flight characteristics of the throttle um i just wanted to show the curve of what i would do i had to cut the power quite a bit for indoor flying so this is kind of the uh characteristics for the throttle that i had to set up so yep there's the curve for all you nerds. All right, take good care, bye-bye. Just kidding guys, one last thing. One of the biggest selling points of this camera is the ability to use motion data captured in the camera to stabilize the footage. So here it is, uh, stabilized, and here's the thing not stabilized and the lens uncorrected for the gyroflow lens. Um, so let's go over what I did. So we loaded the profile here, just run cam thumb, and then down, captured the motion data, and we just put it at 50 hertz like they recommend. And up here, uh, we just synchronized it, auto synchronized. Okay. Okay. And then the stabilization I put to um, 
0.67 and field of view uh, 0.95 just to zoom in just a little bit and here's my other settings uh, and then what was it lens correction uh, I put to 75% so it's not completely lens corrected I kind of like that wide angle uh, if you correct it completely it looks you know pretty good but I, I just prefer the look of you know just a little bit less 75% all right that's it hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching bye